Check one, check two. Hopefully this doesn't sound too bad because I'm about to go 20 minutes again. This is like my third take because my mic keeps acting up. I don't know if I need a better mic. But anyway, what is up, everybody? To whoever's watching this, how you guys doing? It's your boy, Zach Portillo. Welcome to episode one of Eyes Down Podcast. Um, I'm super excited to be starting this. I feel like it's a long time coming to start making videos and start putting putting myself out there a little bit. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what Eyes Down Blog is or, or don't know me at all, um, which I'm sure it's going to be a vast majority of you guys because like six people see my blogs. But anyway, um, I'm Zach Portillo. I started, make, I started Eyes Down. Uh, back in June, so five, six months ago, which is absolutely insane because it feels like just yesterday I was started the blog. But uh, yeah, Eyes Down is just a place where I go and write. It's a little blog where I talk about life. I talk about my experiences, what I'm feeling, um, you know, what I want to work on, what I'm seeing. Just, just me. I'm just, just being me. It's a, it's a place where I can express myself. I started the website from scratch. I didn't know what I was doing when I, when I made it. Uh, on a whim, spent two hundred dollars on a WordPress website, and I just kind of kept going from there and just kept working on it. And um, there's still a lot of work left. I know the the actual website is itself uh, is a lot to be desired. It's not as interactive as I would like it to be, but I'm proud of it and I like where I'm starting out. So I'm just taking baby steps and taking it day by day. So uh, yeah, eyes down. I started it six about five months ago. Um, let's see, let me talk about, like, I guess I want to talk about, so this, this first episode, I just want to introduce myself and, and introduce Eyes Down and, and the podcast and the blogs and talk about why I started it, where I started it, what made me, you know, what led me to start it. So I guess we're going to take it back. Let's take it back to freshman year of my, of college, uh, 2020 through 2021, this is COVID year. This is quarantine. My freshman year, um, first semester, I guess I want to talk about who, where I was at at the time, like just who I was as a person. I was going through it. I was really was going through it. I was not okay as a person. Um, depression, anxiety, just I didn't know who I was. I, I didn't know. I didn't have a purpose. I didn't know what I was living for. I was just going through the motions, and um, I feel like it was just my my soul I didn't have a soul like it was just something was eating away at me and I I just was it sucked I was miserable I felt like um, there was nothing for me and uh, yeah I was just all I did was work in, in school and didn't have a social life and yeah so I was going through it the biggest thing that I want to touch on is just uh, emphasize how much like how unsure of myself I was I had no confidence in myself I didn't even know I, I I didn't know who I was as a person to the core. I didn't know my values. Like I was living life for other people. I was following everybody's lead. I never took control of my life. I never really made decisions for myself. Yeah, I just followed. I didn't step up and and take control of my life. So at this time, I'm just I'm just begging for an escape. Like all I wanted to do was get away from some get away from home, get away from my parents, get away from my friends, get away from all the people that I was constantly seeing, like, I just wanted something new, I just wanted a fresh start, and, uh, so November of 2020, a good friend of mine asked me if I wanted to go live in New York City with him and his girlfriend for six months, so they, they are, they went to UNM as well, University of New Mexico, they were doing a student exchange program through a university out there in New York, I think it was Queens University, um, keep in mind it's still quarantine still covid so they're they were just trying to they were just trying to go out there and get an apartment and just live life and so obviously rent is expensive they needed help with the roommate and that's why they asked me to go and like i said i was looking for an escape as soon as they asked me no hesitation absolutely no i said yes on the first time they asked me and i told my parents this is what's happening i'm doing it i didn't ask i didn't really ask for approval i just this is what i'm doing so that was the that was the very first decision in my life where where I really took control of my life. But anyway, I I worked first semester. Like I said, all I did was work. We ended up finding an apartment beforehand, like a little Airbnb in Manhattan. Um, I so it's not a flat. Like I, I, the neighborhood that we were in was absolutely. We were in the Upper East Side of New York City of Manhattan. Like, man, 
Okay, let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. So, uh, first semester, I'm just saving up money, right? I saved up the rent for the six months. Um, I saved up a little bit. Of, I had a, a, some extra money, like, with investments and stuff for for food and, and the flight ticket and clothes and just being able to maintain. And I also uh, had a lot of help from my parents. They made sure I didn't go hungry. So, very grateful for them. Very thankful for them. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. For real. Love y'all. But, um... Um, yeah, so saved up the rent. I didn't have to have a job out there. I went to New York City, and I didn't have to have a job. All I was doing was school. So like I said, school was online, though. So literally, I had so much time. Pretty much, I was just in New York City. I was in Manhattan for, for six months. With the, the only goal in mind was to just live life and to just be there. Like, literally, I had nothing to really focus on. School was easy. I was just out there living life. I would wake up each day and try to decide, what am I going to do today? Am I going to go to Central Park? Am I going to go try to talk to somebody new? Am I going to go to Brooklyn? Like, where, where, what am I going to do today? So it was just the whole goal of mine for six months was just live life and, and experience stuff. And man, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it back a little bit. But that six months, in six months, like, I left. I left as that unconfident, unsure of myself. I didn't know who I was. And I came back, like almost a complete 180. I'm still working on myself now and I still have a lot of work to go, but I came back like knowing, understanding what I was about and who I am as a person. I came back like actually loving myself and like appreciating myself and accepting that I am the way I am. Like there's, I can't change. Like I'm not going to be able to be anybody else except for what I have now. So might as well embrace it. Might as well work on yourself. So um, yeah, but anyway, so I'm six months, the, 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 the reason I was able to make such a drastic change is because I was in I was in New York alone for six months. So I went with two of my roommates, yes, but you know they're they're a couple. They were kind of doing their own thing, and um, I started doing my own thing. And even after three months, like I really started to just separate, and I was going solo. Like when I tell you I was alone for six months, I was alone for six months, and. Uh, for some people, that can either really break them and, and and cause a lot of loneliness, a lot of, you know, anxiety, depression. And, you know, it did break me. For the first three months out there, I was struggling. Like, I, there was a point where I, wa I told myself that I wanted to go home and I didn't want to be in New York anymore, which is absolutely crazy to me because, I mean, New York is like... Uh, that's that's my spot. Like that's my place. I don't a little little sum about me. I don't know where I was born in my past life, but it had to have been in like Astoria or like or like a Crownsville or somewhere. I don't know where I was born, but it was somewhere in New York City. Like I'm a New York I'm a New Yorker at heart. I just don't know how. There's there's New York in my blood and I don't know where it's coming from. So anyway, yeah, I wanted to go home and I I was tired of being alone. I was tired of I was questioning myself. I was upset at myself. Like the biggest thing I was facing was like I'm in New York City with millions upon millions of people and I'm still doing the same BS that I was doing in New Mexico. Like I'm still staying at home. I'm still going out but not talking to anybody. I'm still solo. I'm still doing all this. Like I'm still doing the same things. Why am I not out here just a completely different person? Like why why did I not completely change as a person in this new environment? Which I for some reason I thought I was going to come out there and just, you know, be a completely different person. And that's when I made the realization that I was not going to change. Like, I am who I am. You know, the person that's here right now is the person that I'm going to have till I die. Like, I'm not going to be able to be anything that I'm not. I'm not going to be able to be another person. So I realized, okay, I'm an introverted person. Like, I'm, I'm naturally, I naturally run solo. That's what I do. I, I need my solitude. Um, I just decided, like, after after realizing, like, that I hadn't changed, I just, uh, my perspective changed, like, I, I changed my, I changed my outlook to, like, okay, why didn't I change, why am I not a different person to, like, like I said, this is who I am, this is what I'm working with, so I might as well try to just look into who I am and work on that, so that's when I started to do some research on, like, um, uh, you know, my personality, I started out just googling, like, and YouTubing, like, stupid questions, like, like why can't I be in a social setting for more than 45 minutes without wanting to be alone? Why can't I 
just go up and talk to people without, you know, hesitation. Why am I always living in my mind? Like, why, why do I, like, why can't I just live life in the moment? Why am I always thinking about something? Why am I, why am I so introspective? Why am I so, like, you know, why am I always thinking about life? Why can't I just take things in the moment as they come? So just a lot of questions like that um, is what I that you know I was looking that stuff up and then I stumbled onto the Myers Briggs personality test and if there's one thing that you uh, that I want you to take away from this first episode, just an introduction episode, so I'm not really talking about a whole much a whole bunch, of, but um, Myers Briggs personality test. I want you guys to go look that up and I want you guys to go take it, figure out what your personality is, and I want you to take some time and research on yourself. Do some research on yourself. Um, it's a crazy thing. So the Myers Briggs personality test, obviously, it was it was made by this guy named Myers Briggs uh, way back. There's, there's a lot of research behind it, and I'm telling you, it's scary accurate. It really is scary accurate. So it pretty much he pretty much divides like everybody's personality. Like everybody is uh, categorized into 16 different personalities, and each personality is like uh, a set of um, like components and there's like a feeling there's thinking there's uh ah man i don't know what all the components are but i know it's like there's ones like where whether you're introverted feeling or extroverted feeling there's like um intuition so it's just a bunch of different categories about how how you operate like what what causes you what causes you to be the way you are and so my personality is an infj and if you're an INFJ out there, if you know what an INFJ is, like I am an INFJ to the fucking core. Like this is this is who I am, and it was crazy because when I found when I found that out and I and I I, you know I got this personality test back, said INFJ, it listed my strengths, it listed my weaknesses, it talked about who like you know in ge- and it's all you know generalities. It's not personal. They don't know me, but everything, all the generalities were like spot on it was absolutely spot on perfectly like perfectly explained everything that i was questioning and you know from that moment on i was like okay everything makes sense now like i i know why i am the way that i am i understand myself like i'm gonna use this now to work on you know to strengthen my strengths and then work on my weaknesses so my weaknesses opening up that's my biggest thing i've never been able to open up even around my family even around my best friends like i still struggle to really just let the real me out and and not and not try to just blend in and just follow like the social set like whatever setting i'm around infjs are known for being social chameleons so you're di- that just means like I, for me personally like i i used to be i used to act different i used to be a different person in each one of my groups that i was associated with so like with my family i was one way with one group of friends i was like one i would listen to some type of music i would talk some way i would go to another group of friends and be completely different and like the thing is 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 how i know this is true is because i used to genuinely i genuinely used to fear and i didn't know why i just didn't know i didn't like it but i used to fear like mixing friend groups and hanging out with two of my friend groups at the same time because I would I didn't know how to act like I would act one way here one way there when they would come together like I couldn't act both ways I couldn't be both ways like I like I usually am so I just I would be confused and I didn't know who I am so social chameleon makes perfect sense I understood that I I understood that as you know, me just not acting true to myself in every situation, and you know, I took things like that and I started working on them, and I, I devoted the rest of that trip, the rest of the six months, and like I said, this is like month three, so the the rest of the three months that I was there to just working on myself and finding myself, finding who I was, finding what I like to do, finding my values, my beliefs, all of that, just figuring out who I was to the core, and that's what I did, man. That's what I did. I was just living life. I was I was making sure I tried to talk to as many people as I can, and by as many people as I can, it was like a handful. Cause like I said, I'm very introverted. I don't like putting myself out there. But the people that I talked to, like I gained valuable information and gained valuable knowledge, and had you know great memories. I remember I talked to people all the way from like sharing spliffs on a on a park bench overlooking the East River with a millionaire, like middle aged advertiser who was giving me knowledge and telling me to just follow what I what I like to do 
and you know so people from all the way from the top all the way to the bottom like i was talking to like homeless people about life too so like i was going from the very top to the very bottom just trying to pick people's brains and explore life that i hadn't explored yet and you know that's what i did and my whole mo at this point in my life is is working on myself and at the same time experience in life and just trying trying to learn as much as i can like raw real life is what i'm about i'm not about the fake shit i'm not about the like pretending like i want to be a real ass person i used to struggle like equating like being a real person to like being hard and now i realize like being a real ass person is just about being a real being a real ass person being true to yourself being real to yourself and so that's what i that's where i'm at now that's what i'm about just being real living life just expanding my mind expanding the horizons of my mind so that's where i'm at um that was new york new york was just a crazy life-changing experience i i'm sure i i know i have many many stories that'll come up on um i'm not going to talk too much more about new york let me see if i have a story or something oh actually no i do i have to keep talking about new york huh shoot uh anyway so talking about new york um after i after i went on this like personality kick talking finding myself figuring out what i like to do with my strengths and my weaknesses um i started working on my strengths and i started working on my weaknesses and one of my weaknesses like i said was opening up and expressing myself so what did i do i started to find ways to express myself and the earliest way the thing that i found most and Thing that I found that I liked to do the most to express myself was write, and uh, I was started in this little yellow composition notebook that was supposed to be for school. Didn't use it for school. Um, I just started writing. I would just go to different places, go to chill in my house, and, and write. And it started out honestly as a bunch of like poems and raps. If there's a if there's a theme about me, it's that I want to be a rapper without actually being a rapper. So here I am writing on one aspect, and then. Hope, gripping the mic on the other one, but I'm not actually ever rap, rapping, so it is what it is. But anyway, yeah, I would just start rapping or just start writing and just whatever was on my mind, whatever I was feeling at the time. There's a bunch of stuff and it's all random, but um, I would find that like after I, I after I got done writing, I would feel so good about myself. Like I would feel satisfied, I'd feel at peace, and I would feel in tune with myself. And that's a feeling that I had never felt before, and it, it just felt so good. And I had decided that, you know, that's something that I want to keep doing. I want to keep expressing myself. I want to keep writing and I want to keep doing it. And when I first started writing, it really wasn't about like a blog or it wasn't about getting it to the world. It was just for myself. It was just personal. It was just everything. Everything that I was writing was very, very personal and something that I would turn to when I was struggling to help me feel better. So I guess I can read something up here. Like this is I'm telling you this is uh this is real this is some real shit that I wrote about in New York City when I was you know I was out there so here here here's one here's a little a little verse Every day's a struggle trying to keep my head up I'm so lost in the world feeling under pressure trying to ma to make something up oh, wait let me restart I fucked up I fucked up Okay here's a little poem here's a little poem I wrote Every day's a struggle trying to keep my head up I'm so lost in the world feeling under pressure to make something of myself I've been crying out for help I only cry by myself I pray to God that it gets better Some real shit I really was going through it So, But like I said Writing helped me out Writing put me in the best Put me in a good place It put me in a good place in my mind And I just felt good I felt good after writing So um, New York was when I started my creative itch It's when I started to think about You know taking a creative route I have always known that I that I don't want to work a job that I don't like and I don't want to be miserable for the rest of my life and have regrets and, and having my whole perspective on life open up like I felt like I spread my wings for the first time it was, it was awesome and being in the capital of the world like there's so much life out there and uh, you know just, just a culmination of everything out there like me being alone me being independent for the first time me being in New York specifically um, it was just a culmination of, of things that just really, I really tapped into myself and I took a lot of time for myself and it was great. I saw this thing, I think it was a tweet. It was like kind of a joke, but it really wasn't a joke. It was like, uh, if you want to find yourself, it literally said something like, if you want to find yourself, go to a new place for six months alone. 
And everyone was like Kind of joking about it And I was like Yeah I really fucking did that And I really You know It really Like that's 100% what happened <laughs> And so I thought That was crazy But yeah It was a wonderful opportunity I'm so blessed Each and every day That I got to experience that I want to go back To New York I will be back in New York Like I said I was a New Yorker In my past life So I'm gonna I'm get back to it but, yeah, I'm just waiting on the right time. Obviously, I don't have the bread. I'm a broke college student in my dorm, so I got a ways to go. That's why I'm scheming. That's why I'm doing what I like to do and, and just taking baby steps and, and taking it day by day. But, yeah, that was New York. Let's see what else I want to talk about. New York was crazy. Um, okay, so okay, so Eyes Down itself came. So I started writing. I started writing towards the end of my trip in New York. Eyes Down came actually when I got back from New York. So my very first blog that I ever wrote was about growing up. And it was just talking about a bunch of things that I had learned over the past six months. I talked about a story while I was in, in Central Park chilling. Um, and just talking about growing up and, and how my perspective on life had changed. And I actually made my very first blog post on the plane coming back from New York, coming home. Like, it sucked. It was a bittersweet feeling riding that on the plane home because obviously I wanted to be in New York for a lot longer, but um, I was happy to be back home and I was happy to, to be back home with a whole new outlook on life and, and back home, like, loving myself. Like, I felt felt good about myself for once. So um, that's when I made the first piece, and really it was just for myself. It was in my notes app. I just did it. I was bored. I uh, had a lot on my mind, and I just let it out, and... That's where the first piece came, and when I got home, I decided, you know, I decided that I liked it enough that I wanted the world to see it, and that was a big step for me, uh, was accepting the fact that, you know, I want the world to see what I'm talking about. I want the world to hear me, so I, uh, on a whim one day, I spent 200 on a WordPress website from scratch, built it, built it from scratch, and, you know, I, I uh, didn't know what I was doing, a lot of YouTube tutorials, to get the website where where it's at now and still a lot of work like it's still I still have a lot of work and I probably need some help with it but uh, I just started writing I just started making blogs I found a little found a style that I liked um, and the whole website like it's me it's me to the socks like from the home page with the shoes that's me I, that's a picture I took I was on a rooftop chilling at my boy's crib um, upper what was it upper east side Manhattan like that's that's some real some real stuff so Everything is very personal. Everything I write about is very personal. But at the same time, so I, I started, I started the blogs for me. I didn't, I didn't make it for anybody else. I really started it just so I could go back to and, and have a have a place for me to go write and express myself. And I put it out a couple times. I'm still hesitant, and I don't know why I'm hesitant. I need to start really going for it and putting it out there. But the people that did read it, you know, I got feedback and and people related to what I was talking about. I know one of my good buddies. He commented on my post and forever, like, I'm forever thankful that he did. But he just talked about how he related to what I was going through. He felt the same way. And it's it's that that shit makes me happy is being able to connect to somebody and being a friend out there for, for those who maybe think that they, they don't have friends or, or just people who are who just need to hear, you know, who need to hear what they need to hear. So uh, or maybe hear what they don't want to hear. I don't know. I, whatever. I just want to be that real person giving some light. I feel like a lot of the stuff I talk about is not it's not mainstream. It's not cool. It's not cool to talk about growing up. It's not cool to talk about peace of mind. It's not cool to talk about like bettering yourself and and, and you know just, just talking about life. It's not cool. I need to be talking about like just doing stupid shit. I need to talk about partying like nah, we're not doing that. We're talking about life. I'm trying to bet I'm trying to better myself. That's who I am as a person. So I'm embracing that. I'm taking it, you know. Every day I'm taking it one step at a time, but um, having 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 something out there that other people can relate to is what I'm all about. Uh, that's what I'm all about now. It makes me happy to to help other people and to be around other people, and that's what that's what I want to do ultimately with eyes down. I want to have, I want to build a brand. I want to expand, and I want other people to to know. Like I want to be a breath of fresh air. I want my I want my website to be a breath of fresh air. Like when you're going through it and your mind is racing or you're feeling some type of way, like I want somebody to be able to go to my blogs and read it and feel like me. Like when I'm done reading my own post, like it's a reset. It's a mental reset. Like okay. I was tripping about this for nothing. Like this is how I actually feel. This is I want people to 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 be able to feel that same way. So 
that's eyes down that's where it started that was kind of the foundation um and like i said now i just want to grow with it i want to keep going um I'm ready. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm ready to put it out to the world. I'm ready to, to relate. And I just want to, I want to grow. I want to grow a family. Like I don't want fans. I don't want followers. I don't want any of that. I want to talk to genuine people with real life experience. And I want to talk about life. Like eventually I want to be able to take live calls and talk about life. That's, that's something I really want to do. Um, but yeah, I've been talking for a while. I don't know how this mic sounds. I'm really excited. Okay, so in the the next episodes, this one was very kind of unstructured. Um, just talking about me and my in the brand. You know what I'm saying? Eyes down and in the podcast and the blogs and all that. But the next episodes are probably going to be talking about like a specific topic, and we're just gonna I'm just gonna talk about that. So I'm thinking peace of mind. I've been working on a blog about peace of mind for like three weeks now. And I want to get it right because I, I believe peace of mind is probably the most important thing that you can live your life by and chase after in life is peace of mind. So I want to make sure I get that right and talk about what I want to talk about. But I think I'm going to have like a complimentary podcast about that. And I think that's how I'm going to roll. Um, if you guys have any if you guys have any like advice or have any um, insights on like something you would like to see me do, like whatever, let me know. Let me know. Um, I'm going to keep going. Like I said, this is a very rough podcast. It's the first time I'm ever doing this. So we're going to keep improving. We're going to keep getting better. We might add decorations, make the make the back cool. But shit, I'm happy. I'm super excited where I'm at right now, and I feel really good. So I appreciate you guys. If you guys tuned in and watched all of this, man, you guys are some real ones, and I love you guys for real. So thank you guys for watching. Stay true to you. Do you. I'm going to come up with an outro eventually and an intro. But I, it's got to be sick, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on that. I'm going to pause. But I love y'all. Peace out. Thank you.